Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Tony with La Lita Loca, and today we're here to talk about the cocaine cruise and the dangers of internet fame. That's right, today uh, we're going to talk a little, uh, it's, it's a two-parter today, as it were. going to talk a little bit first about a news story coming out of Sydney, Australia, where uh, the folks who smuggled cocaine on a cruise ship, uh, the sentencing has occurred. This happened in 2016. Going to give you some more information about that. And then that is going to work us into a conversation about the dangers of uh, internet fame. So uh, it, it's a hot topic. And uh, we're going to get into it right now. All right. So first, the details of the news story. Uh, this occurred back in uh, 2016. It was a seven-week cruise on the MSC Princess that really uh, went all over the place. Britain to Ireland, the United States, Bermuda, Peru, uh, Australia. Really a once-in-a-lifetime cruise with about a $17,000 price tag. Uh, just just to get on this bad boy and it takes us to the story of uh, three individuals uh, from Canada who were uh, persuaded to smuggle cocaine from the ship into Sydney Australia so the main players here are 29 year old Isabel Lagasse and now 22 year old Melina Roberge and then finally 65 year old Andre Tamman these three were part of a conspiracy that originated in Canada the reports believe that the cocaine was acquired in Peru with the intent of either distributing smuggling in Australia the, the final destination not hundred percent clear authorities were alerted in Sydney about potential issues with these three passengers and drug dogs were brought on the cruise ship searched the berths of these three passengers and found almost a hundred kilograms of cocaine. The street value is anywhere between 16 to 20 million dollars worth of cocaine. These individuals have recently been sentenced, all found guilty in Australia, and yesterday was the final sentencing of the 22 year old Melina Roberge. And in her statement uh, as to why she did this, she said that she could not afford to travel the world and that she wanted to uh, she wanted to be Instagram famous. So she jumped on the opportunity to take a free cruise with some extra spending money to exotic locations and be able to post her travel story on Instagram to gain popularity. So this is interesting that this story did gain some uh, popularity when it first broke. The young girls took pictures in all kinds of beautiful locations that really kind of blew up uh, on Instagram. Of course, when this came out, uh, their account was deleted. So there's a lot of news articles out there to get maybe more details if you want. I'll, I'll link some of the articles that I read below. Really onto the conversation about the dangers of internet fame, the risk of internet fame. We've talked about it here before on the channel. You know, I, I've said it. I believe that writers write to be read, that actors act to be seen. And I think most content creators on uh, social media platforms create that content to, to get attention. Now that attention might be attention for their business, could be attention for their ideas, or it could just be straight up attention to feed the ego. It is an interesting shift going on in the modern culture where traditional influence, influence of our parents, where you may have got a reputable job or you did something in the community and therefore you had a voice to influence others. That is a thing of the past. In the, in the modern context with social media, anybody can carve out their niche on the internet. Anybody can start to gain influence just through by trying to connect with their tribe. Unlike any time before in, in the history of the world, people from everywhere with a similar interest can find a place, can find others with those interests and have a conversation and make a connection. You see it alarmingly with extremist groups. The internet provides a way for them to get together. And then for people who just who, who like travel photos, it, it's a place like that. People who like to talk cruising, it's a place like that. You know, not to, not to paint the internet, uh, internet influence uh, in a bad light, but we are in an interesting time in history where, like no other time before, people's voices can be heard and people can come out of obscurity to be seen. So here, here's the rub. Anytime that there's a change in culture, there's the old school versus the new school. There's generational rubs where, where people have to be progressive on each end, where people that come from an old ideology have to be forward thinking to understand the new. And then people that are in the new ideology have to be able to look back and understand the perspectives of the generation before them. So it's interesting, the judge in this case makes this statement. Judge Kate Trell condemned Robert's motivation for crime as a very sad indictment on her age group who seek to attain such a vacuous existence 
where how many likes they receive are their currency. So yeah, the judge is saying, look, you know, it's silly to try to garner likes to, to feel fulfilled or to feel acceptant or, or to use that as currency. I don't know that she meant literal currency, but I do think she misses the point a little bit. There is reward for being able to garner influence in the new digital spaces. Just the insight on, on YouTube, there's a computer algorithm, there's an AI that determines whether your videos will show up to other people, whether they'll show up on the trending page or whether they'll show up uh, in, in other people's feeds and a big catalyst for whether you're going to show up in other people's feeds is whether your video has been liked, whether people have commented on it, whether whether people have shared it. In our videos and other videos, you'll see people, hey, like my video, comment below. Part of it is to continue and grow the community and part of it is trying to appease appease the robots to try to appease the AI so that you can get you know more people seeing your video like I said before you know people create for many reasons but I think at the core people create because they want their creation to be seen so I, I think that as times change the influence uh, of the internet generation becomes greater and greater I think we have to try to understand that it's not just some vain play for attention but uh, it really is the currency. Uh, being able to influence through creating and being seen, it really is the currency of the next generation. This is a cautionary tale for sure. Challenge for creators to check themselves and say, am I operating in an ethical way? Am I doing something that is illegal? All for the price of influence. Fine line that people have to walk. It's a new ethical dilemma, I think, for the digital age. How you gain influence and then what you do with it. Some of the largest creators on the platform they get millions of views per video. I know they have to be asking themselves the question, you know, what do I do with this influence that I've garnered? Who am I influencing and, and what do I do with all of this? It's an interesting conversation. It's, it's not one that we're not immune to. We are small time YouTube creators with the goal of making entertaining and informative content that we hope people will watch. We are constantly checking ourselves to that end. Uh, you know, what are we doing? Are we being genuine? And you know, are we making real relationships by making content? Or are we just watching the light count? It's an interesting thing. This is a story that causes pause, I think for everybody, but I think it's the new normal. So what do you think about this? It is sad the quest for internet fame has resulted in, in prison sentences for, for young people, but uh, at the same time, you gotta follow the rules. You can't smuggle cocaine, no matter how many likes you're gonna get. Now, I'd love to hear your opinion on this. Do you guys think about influence in the, in the modern context? So, hey, but look, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up help me feed the algorithm and, and let me know that you like me see that's the ego part and the and the business part if 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 you haven't yet subscribe because you're going to get this kind of rambling come join us on on one of the funnest communities on the internet on facebook at the lolly de loca cruising community we talk cruising we can get more into this conversation my name's tony i'm with lolly de loca and i guess until the next time we'll see you on the lido